To start with, you'll want to download the appropriate version of OpenTunes from github.io. There's a direct link in this video's description, or you can just Google OpenTunes and it should be the top result. On the main page, uh, click the download link and then the green button, and then you can choose to download for Windows or Mac. Uh, one thing to note, since the program is open source, there are some custom modified versions available. But to try to keep everything standardized, I'll be demoing with the official release from GitHub. When you launch the installer, depending on your security settings, you might need to give permission to actually install the program. For example, my Mac initially rejected the installation, so I had to go into my security settings to allow it. The general consensus is that it's safe, but feel free to scan the installer with antivirus software if you want to be extra sure. <clears throat> running the installer. Uh, most of the default settings are fine, though I do prefer not to make a desktop shortcut, so I'm going to uncheck that. Once you've installed, you have the option to launch the program right away, but first it's a good idea to get familiar with where to find the related files on your hard drive. So for now, let's uncheck this box and find those files. On Windows, on the C drive, you should see a folder called OpenTune Stuff, and that's where you'll be saving projects and work. I recommend adding this to the File Explorer's quick access list. The application itself is in the program files within a subfolder for OpenTunes. There is a lot in here, so look for the application with its green icon and go ahead and pin this to the taskbar. On Mac, the application is in the Applications folder, imagine that. Right next to it should be an OpenTunes subfolder, and this contains the OpenTunes stuff folder where your work will be saved. Again, I recommend adding these to Quick Access and the doc. <clears throat> Once you've got it installed, uh, double-click the program to start it up, and in the next section we'll take a look at the launch menu. I hope you find these videos helpful, and if so, subscribe for more tutorials, and check out thundercluck.com, especially if you have any young readers or fans of animation in your life. Thanks for watching!